Hey y'all, I'm Caitlin Skelton. Welcome to my channel. I am starting a YouTube channel. It was highly encouraged on my beauty page in War Paint Warriors. Um, it's also Raina Langston's page. Um, everyone in there is so sweet. I do lives every Wednesday in that group and it has been very, very, very encouraged that I start a YouTube channel. So for my first video, I decided to do a quick makeup look as I talk to you about how I obtained uh, beauty products and a camera and a backdrop for an affordable price. The YouTube community is very, very populated, so it feels very hard to get started at this day and age with YouTube being so popular. Everyone has the best of the best cameras, the best backdrops, the best lighting, the best everything that starting out very, very intimidating. And I'm on a budget. I'm sure anyone who else wants to start doesn't have the money to splurge on a thousand dollar camera or whatever it may cost. Um, so this video is just kind of showing you what I purchased to obtain the items needed to start a YouTube channel and try to give the best quality possible for someone who would want to watch a YouTube. It's no longer starting with your iPhone and sitting in your messy room or in your basement and things like that. So this is what I did. This is the look I did in this video. So if you want to see what I did here very quickly and see what I obtained and how much those things cost, just keep watching. For my second video, I think I want to do a challenge. A challenge that I found is super funny in the beauty community. It made me laugh so much. So I said, why not? let me do that challenge myself. So guess which challenge it is? The tiny hand challenge. I will be back and I will be doing makeup with these tiny little baby hands. Because why not? How fun will that be? All right, so if y'all wanna see that, just stay tuned. I'm going to start off with my MAC Studio Moisture Cream. I love this moisturizer. Um, I have normal to dry skin and I've just found that it has helped regulate um, my dryness. Um, it can definitely be a problem, especially in the colder months. I get so, so, so dry. So what I um, started with was my vanity. My vanity was a big thing that I wanted just to have um, clients to be able to have a space in my house for clients to come into that was separate from the rest of the house and it's just kind of a nice space but also I know vanities can be super expensive I'm newly married um, as of October of 2018 so um, newly married a uh, new homeowner, um, so paying a mortgage, paying a car payment, paying all those things. Um, on a normal, in a normal life, it's hard to live the lifestyle we all want to live. YouTube is a dream of many, so it is um, something that I think I was able to find a way to obtain um, the things that I feel like YouTubers have, but cheaper. So I started with my vanity. I looked high and low for the mirror without going through Impressions Hollywood vanity mirrors, just because those price points, you're paying for the name, I'm sure, um, and I just needed to find a cheaper way. I was obsessed though with the Hollywood vanity um, mirrors and actual vanities. I know that there's like a whole vanity bundle set that was about like, I wanna say $1,300, and that is not obtainable in my uh, budget at all, <laughs> as I'm sure many others, it's not. So what I am, or what I looked for, was more so um, a mirror that I could find that was budget friendly. I searched high and low all over Facebook, and I found a company, which I can link below, um, they build mirrors by hand. So I got my frameless mirror for $200, I believe, and I just bought the bulbs myself. Um, and then I looked everywhere for a desk. I waited for sales. I found coupons. I did all those things. So for my desk, I got the topper, the desk topper. So it's not one piece, it's multiple pieces. My desk topper is 
from Ikea that was about $25, I would say maybe $30 after shipping. Um, then I got the two side drawers that look just like the Ikea Alex drawers, but for much cheaper. Um, I believe the Alex drawers retail for about $80 or more a piece. I got two drawer sets from Michaels on sale, 60% off I believe each, and it came out to $55 a piece. So total, that isn't as bad as those very, it looks very high end, it looks very chic, and I can do a little tour of my vanity later on, but I feel like um, I did very well with paying only that, and I bought everything incrementally. My backdrop, I'm pretty proud of it. It's not perfect, that's for sure. But what I did was I went to Walmart and I got um, a, I wanna say it's like a garment or a closet, those standalone garment hanging um, things. I don't know, it's like one of those things where you don't have a closet so you have this little clothing rack. Um, and it was $9, $9 at Walmart. That's what I bought, put it together, super easy, but also super flimsy because it's only $9, but that's okay, it's just staying in one spot. Then I went to the fabric section in Walmart and I picked two fabrics. I have underneath is a velvet black. It's super, super cute. And that I wanna say was maybe $6. Then this overlay that you see, this little sparkly, I just had to have it. I love sparkle. <laughs> and that was roughly $4. So that whole thing did not cost me much, less than 20 bucks. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's, it, I think it looks pretty good. It's all makeshift, but then comes the camera, the most important part. I felt like, oh, I'm never gonna be able to start without a camera. So I looked high and low, cause I'm not gonna invest in a monitor and things like that just yet. But I wanted a camera that had a flip up back so that I could see myself and know that I'm in focus and know that I can see or everything's in order as far as the camera goes. Um, and this was $320 at Best Buy. It is the Sony Cybershot HX80 is what I wound up purchasing. So I don't quite know how it's gonna go yet. This is my first video so y'all can let me know. But I felt like why not be relatable? Why not tell what I'm doing as far as trying to do this but on a budget? Because I know everyone is actually <laughs> on a budget. So um, I want these nice things. I want to be seen in the YouTube community as I'm sure anyone who starts a YouTube wants. Um, so I felt like I needed all those high, high end things, but maybe we can make this work. Um, I wish YouTube was back in the days where, where you just filmed with your iPhone and your messy room is in the background. <laughs> but it's not that way anymore. Times are changing and it's hard to keep up when you're just starting out because I feel like everyone and their mother, brother, sister, mister, everybody has a YouTube channel. So it's, it's definitely something that's very intimidating to come into. I feel like once you're there or you came in at the right time, then that is what it is and you lucked out in that time. But starting out now, it's a little this difficult. This is what I'm doing um, and maybe anyone else watching needed to see exactly um, what they think is more obtainable. Now maybe you can look at this and say, okay, well, maybe I can do it too. I can I can afford $300 on a camera. I can't afford $900 on a camera. Um, and me either, you know? So I hope that this will shed light on some things, give new ideas maybe. Um, this backdrop thing just kind of popped into my head. I was like, well, backdrops can be expensive and I feel like, okay, well, it's just fabric, so let me go to the fabric department, and then it's just something that holds the fabric, so why not get like a little garment hanging thing? Because that is cheap, and it's a starter.